Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Nirbhay missile program has been successful and it was a technology demonstrator to prove the indigenous cruise missile technology. The development of Nirbhay with Russian NPU Saturn 36 MT engine is complete. To take Nirbhay missile program to next stage, ITCM was started aimed to achieve 100% indigenization. The indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM is a program to develop Nirbhay cruise missile with indigenous small turbofan engine STFE of 400 kg force thrust class. Now during the Defence Expo 2022, the Joint Director of ITCM project had informed that one more test is planned for Nirbhay missile this month end. The missile will be powered by GTRE's STFE engine. Till now, eight flight trials of Nirbhay has been conducted. The ITCM program is planned to be concluded by July 2023. ITCM is going to be again a technology demonstrator with 100% indigenous content. Post the completion of ITCM, two more spin-off of this program is planned. The first one is long-range land attack cruise missile or LR LSCM for Indian Army and air launch cruise missile ALCM for Indian Air Force. Talking about Nirvai's specification, it is India's first subsonic cruise missile having a cruising speed of 0.7 Mach. The missile can be launched from multiple platforms. It will follow low flight path with cruise altitude of 100 meters and capable of carrying conventional and strategic warheads. It can carry PCB or BCF type warhead. The missile has a range of 1000 kilometers with overall weight of 1450 kg. The missile has overall length of 7.6 meter and diameter of 520 mm. The missile uses inertial navigation system augmented with GPS for mid-course guidance and for terminal homing it can use either RF or EOIR seeker. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.